from Scandinavian today. I'm going to make a delicious Nutella flour bread. And I want to tell you when I first tasted Nutella, it's many, many years ago, when I lived in Germany, in Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, we were on our way home to Denmark and stopped by in Belgium to visit some relatives there. And they served me Nutella, and of course I've never forgotten that because I thought it was so delicious. And of course now I love making the braided Nutella bread, and I hope you like it too. So here in front of me I have all the ingredients. I have three and a half cup of flour. And in the flour I'm going to add half a teaspoon cardamom. You probably realize that we... The Scandinavian people like to use cardamom a lot. So you can put that in, or if you don't like it, uh, maybe you want to have some lemon zest in there. It gives a nice flavor as well. But anyway, that's how I do it. And then we have three and a quarter cup of milk. And I'm going to heat the milk up to about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, then I'm going to also add two egg yolks. I'm going to add a third cup of sugar one and a half teaspoon of active dry yeast and I'm going to use one cup of Nutella I'm going to heat it up a little bit about, about uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit or you can heat it up either in the oven in the microwave I'm going to heat it up in some hot water and then I'm finally using an egg white uh, to brush the bread with and that's about it so let's get going. So I, here, I put up the flour in the bowl. And I'm adding the third cup of sugar. Okay, let's mix it up a little bit. Okay, so the milk, I've heated it up to approximately 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm adding the active dry yeast, one and a half teaspoon. And I'm going to mix it up and then leave it for about 10 minutes to get the yeast dissolved. Okay. And actually, I think I forgot to mention to you, I also have two tablespoons of melted butter, which I'm going to add to the, the dough. And also, of course, a pinch of salt. I suggest you add about a teaspoon of sugar also to the milk yeast mixture. And pretty soon it will be ready to use. So the yeast, uh, it's nice foamy now, as you can tell here. So I can now mix the rest of the ingredients with the flour. So let's pour in the egg yolks in the yeast mixture. as well as the melted butter, the two tablespoons of melted butter I'm adding. And then I add it to my flour. Mix it all up and I'm going to knead it for about 10 minutes. to have some flour on the surface here so I can knead it by hand. So let's get it all out of the table here so I can knead it well. And let's get them together now. Yeah, like I said, I'm kneading for about 10 minutes and then I'll put it in the bowl, cover it up and leave it for one to one and a half hour to raise before I continue. So here we have it. I'm covering it up now and I'm going to leave it like this for about one and a half hour. I'll be back. So now the dough has risen and I can divide it into four parts. And then I'm going to roll out four um, 
round pieces. Here's one piece. Get the right size. Okay, it's about there, I think. Let's see. Yeah. It, okay. And now I want to cut it out. So here we go. And of course, I'm going to do this four times. So here we have the first piece, and I'm going to put it on the baking sheet. Okay. And actually, I'm I have bought up the baking sheet and put flour on it as well, and then I'm placing this on the baking sheet. And now I have to put the Nutella on, and uh, I heated up the Nutella already, and I should be able to smear it on now. switched to using a spatula to smear it out with. I think it works a little bit better with that. So here we have the first one. And I put it on the baking sheet. And I'll roll up the second circle. Goes on the baking sheet, and then I have to roll out the second sheet. Okay, okay it's almost there. See. Let's see. Yes, it's perfect. Cut it up. Okay. Here we have the second. Let's put the Nutella on it. And then again, I use my spatula to smear it out. there. All right, I put it on the first. Perfect. And here we go with the next roll. Next ball to roll out. Again, we need the Nutella on there. Mm -hmm. 
So this is going to be a delicious Nutella braided bread. It's a little work, but I definitely think it's worth it. And people get really excited when I serve it. Oh, just a little bit more. So why not give it a good layer? All right, so I place that on top. And I line it up with the other ones. Okay, and now I roll out the last piece, the top piece. And of course, that doesn't need any Nutella on it. And just keep pushing, rolling, and it'll get there. And uh, I'll have to leave it alone for about an hour. Well, actually, I have to cut it now. And I'm making an imprint here in the center. Okay. And I cut into there, just in half. So that's in four pieces first. And then I cut them in half. And those halves I cut one more time. So I continue all the way around. And I almost have, have all of them cut out now. And then I can begin to twist them. So it's been all cut and I'm going to twist it. So I twist it once, twice, and then squeeze it a little bit together here. Here we go, once, twice, and then squeeze it in together. And just keep going around, do it twice with all the pieces. then I'm going to leave it alone for I would say at least an hour to let it raise and before I stick it in the oven I'm going to brush it with an egg white so here we have it all twisted and I'm going to cover it up so I'll cover it up with a towel and I'll be back in about an hour so I'm going to brush the Nutella bread with egg wash egg white Okay, gives it a nice shine, nice surface. All right, here, I guess it's all over now. And I also, I'm going to sprinkle with a little bit of sugar. Kind of gives it a nice touch as well. 
and it can go in the oven now at degree of 350 and I expect to bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. So here we have the Nutella bread in the oven and I'll check back in 15 minutes because I want it to be nice and golden brown. And it is still hot so let me take it off the sheet so you can cool it down. So I'm going to have a nice piece of my braided bread and it does look good. Look at that, all that Nutella inside it. Mmm. So, the Nutella has cooled down a little bit and it's time for me to taste it. Let's get a bite. Mm, very good. Excellent, delicious, I love it. Scold and enjoy and please subscribe to our channel. See you, bye.